Hello. Uh, now it's occurred to me that there's a couple of tools I haven't explained yet. Uh, they, they are down here. When the, when the pull tool is active, these tools appear down here. Now these two, well there's three, uh, thicken surfaces, maintain offsets, and pull both sides. So we'll have a look at these three now. Now look down here to the left, lower left, and these these are the three tools we're going to be looking at. Uh, thicken surfaces, maintain offset, and pull both sides. We're in the design mode and you may not think there's anything much on the screen, but there is. There's a there's a point. See that point there point which was made by this tool up here. There's no explanation, no hint coming up. Anyway, that's that's the point tool. So we've got a dot here and the pull tool activated. We've got this one activated, thickened surfaces. When this option is on, the surface is, oh, it doesn't leave, last long to read. It is extruded into a solid. When the option is off, no. The surface is offset to a new location. When dragged a surface, well, uh -huh. when drag, when dragging a surface while holding the control key, the surface is copied. Well, I think we all know that. And then offset, regardless of the option. Okay. So we've got that highlighted, and highlight in this case means it's got a grey block around it. If we click on it again, the grey block goes away and it is not highlighted. Click back on and we've got a grey block around it. So with it highlighted and selected left click now and drag we've dragged our dot into a line. Click in the line, middle of the line somewhere we get another arrow pointing somewhere left click and drag and we've dragged our line into a surface click somewhere in the middle left click again and drag and we've dragged it into a solid so from our dot a single point we've gone to a 3D solid okay so control Z back to a dot now we've got it selected and this tool here pull both sides if we click on and highlight that watch watch the arrow it's got two arrows, arrows now pointing in both directions which means that if we click oh, click left click and drag it pulls the dot into a line in both directions and again if we do click the line it pulls the line into a plane in both directions and the same happens with doing a solid. Now obviously the reason for this is if you want to maintain where the center of an object is it's a good idea to highlight that and that thing remains central to whatever your you want the relationship of that to be. So that's good. That's all very understandable. Go back to our dot. Now if we unselect it by just clicking anywhere, unselect thickness thickness surfaces, select the point again, it's looking as though we can do something with it. So let's see what happens. We left click and drag and the pointer moves and gives us a dimension from the point and then release the mouse button and it goes back. Now I cannot for the life of me understand what use that is. Perhaps someone can tell me. 
So that's with the pull tool active, no thickness, no maintain offset and pull both sides. If we select pull both sides we get a double arrow and we click and drag that happens and release and all goes back. So I can't see what the purpose of that is. So we'll unselect all that, we've still got our dot. We'll active activate the thickened surfaces and select our point. I'm going to unselect pull both ways and just pull a a line. Now maintain offset doesn't seem to be able to be activated at all at this point. So let's carry on, select the midpoint somewhere, click and drag. We've got the plane. Still this maintain offset is not active. Click the plane and we've got a solid. Maintain offset still not active. And the oct the offsets tool is in keep the offset relationship though the current operation. Now I would think that's a typographical error because the sentence doesn't make any sense. Keep the offset relationship though the current operation. So that doesn't make sense and so far I've not been able to get it to activate at all. Even if that says keep the offset relationship through through the current operation I still don't understand what it means. If anybody does know I'd be pleased if you could uh, let me know in one of the in one of your comments so that's pretty much it for those three two of them I understand and can see how they can be useful one I can't and another thing is that the comments on the screen here the reminders don't seem to linger long enough to be able to read it all now here is something else I found a bit strange I've just done a simple rectangle here, uh, type P for pull, oops, need to be in design spot, P for pull, and I'm going to turn off the thickness, thickened surfaces down here, right, it's not activated anymore, pull tool is activated, select the rectangle, left click and drag, and it moves, acts like a move tool. And moves it to, a, I suppose, an offset place. And release and it stays there. Click and it leaves it in the new position. Yeah, fair enough. It just seems to act like a move tool, but uh, that's all right. Now we'll backtrack. Control Z. Control Z. Now we'll put another rectangle on here. for pull, uh, disable the thicken, thicken surfaces there, pull tool, select the rectangle, left click and drag and it fails, operation failed, see at the bottom here, fail to offset surfaces. Okay you may think oh well you need to uh, select them both, left click and drag, still fails. So it will work on one surface and in fact it is looking as though that is one surface because over here we've only got one one in the in, in the structure tree. So if we click it here what happens? Still fails. So that's a bit odd. 
uh, it's still worth knowing about because people might be wondering is it their system that's wrong is it the program wrong is but um, there you are now one other thing regarding this maintain offset tool the only explanation I can find on it in the help online help is here in pulling I've done a search within it on main, the word maintain and in pulling there is this reference down here maintain offset highlighted in yellow as we uh, searched on that word and it is saying select this checkbox to maintain the offset relationship when pulling now I can't quite get my head into that what that actually means there's a little box here distance and edge I suppose that the distance and edge segment or curve is moved or copied well I think we still need an example of how that works but there's nothing else highlighted there's plenty of explanations of all sorts of other things but I don't see any other explanation on maintain offset specifically pull both sides yes we've got that one copy edge pivot nothing on maintain so I still don't understand what maintain offset really really means so if anybody else has got any inside information on that one I'd love to hear them, hear from them. Okay, catch you later, bye.